Oh, diba kanina pa ako nagsasalita na commute pala ako <laughs> kakainis so ayun hello ulit sa inyo guys this is your boy Rafael Zeke and <sighs> okay <laughs> never I have a good recording time <laughs> so yun um, welcome to this new game na uh, nakita ko lang kagabi and uh, it seemed to be uh, that I got interested on the story mode Though the story mode would be around only day 1 to day 5 Pero you're on your own after day 5 And again, uh, this is the game called Last Fortress uh, Underground So it's your bunker base building game which is important in food resources um, Meron ka ditong resources so Sa pagkain ay mushroom, copper, saka I think wheat Pero magkakaroon ka rin ng another food which is your pumpkin based sa ano sa ingredients dito sa cooking ay pumpkin soup yan nagkakaubos na lang ng tubig ngayon <laughs> as in ubos na yung reservoir namin dito at ubos na rin to so hindi ko alam <laughs> can we still collect? I am not sure ayun importante rin ang resources dito tulad ng coal ng stone ng iron Coal is for the generator, um, stone is for building, upgrading some facilities, iron same for upgrading facilities, and there are some facilities na kailangan natin mag-train ng ano, mga survivors. Ano to? Ba't may join? Ha? Ano yun? Ikaw ba yun? Ah, I think uh, sa alliance yun. Ayun. Ah, uh, nasa na mga ako? Yeah. Um, iron for... There are some instances na may mga training rooms dito, such as for uh, Defender. Uh, what's this? Rifleman. And... Uh, I think this one is Commando. Yeah. Uh, kala ko Swordsman sila eh, Kasi... <laughs> they have blades on their emblem. So, uh, you're wondering, uh, is this purely a base building game? I would say no. Uh, this is the unique thing about Task Force Survival. Meron siyang two combat systems. Uh, first would be yung ano, clearing the uh, floors. Kasi there are some floors. If you would see like this one. Ayan. Uh, for this one, mostly yung mga heroes or yung mga special agents yung gagamitin natin. On my case, may mga nakuha na akong iilan. Though, yung iba dyan, binili ko. <laughs> Ayun. Uh, papakita ko sa inyo guys ang combat system. Which is, ito yung somehow unique sa mga base building or bunker building games. Though, alam ko, talo ako dito since this is a take two of my recording. Ayan. This is a good thing. Kaya lang, ang reason din ko bakit medyo somehow na well, honestly, honest to be na lang. <laughs> Na-off ako sa laro dahil sa... Once you click the attack, it will go automatic. Dito tayong swan ko, ah. Ayan, para sigurado. Ayan, hindi ko sila kino-control, guys. As in, pusa silang gumagalaw. But based on the ano, yung kanina, power require atayo. Yeah, uh, I I don't stand a chance dito. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, you would only fight for ano for the floors na kung alam yung kaya ng team niyo. Yeah, recommended power is 95k. Pero ang power ko pa lang dito is, I think, nasa 80, yeah, 80, 84. So, may gap kami na more than 10k. Another thing is, um, eto. And every case, once you have defeated those, ano, yung rooms na may danger na icon, you own the room and 
you will enjoy the perks of having those rooms. Maraming pa akong na-unlock dito. I'm, uh, yung command center ko is nasa level 5 pa lang. I would assume uh, the max level would be level 10. Ano to? Okay. Tapos, ayan, pwede rin tayo mag-exterminate ng mga zombies on the uh, surface level. Click lang natin yung turret. Hit confirm. Just make sure guys, mataas yung level ng turret natin. Ayan guys, uh, you're wondering... Um, Oh, yeah. Uh, Barili mo na natin siya. Sige lang. Let's go. Uy. Ah, uh, kaba to ah. Yan. You're wondering guys, bakit may XP to? Uh, is this a uh, level-based game as well? Uh, I can say yes. If you would observe sa heroes natin, meron sila mga leveling. If you click on those, actually nasa breakthrough na pala yan. Yeah, sabi natin yung level 15. You can click level up. And yeah, kulang pa ako sa ano. <laughs> kulang pa ako sa XP para pa level up tong mga to. Ayun. Um, there are also some resources na kailangan mo ng mga facilities tulad nung coin minting para dun sa breakthrough para magkaroon ka ng Z money or memento money. Yeah, uh, you can get it by playing this turret or also you can play the other game mode of this one which is Hindi ko alam kung ano 'yun. <laughs> Hindi ko alam kung ano 'yun. Bigla may tumunog. <laughs> Ayun, um if we would see guys, this is also a domination style game. Napadala natin suguri to. And Ayun, hindi ko pala nabanggit guys. There are some facilities wherein you need to train your units. Um, yung purpose nun is para dito. So, recommended partner power is 24k. Um, apparently, hindi ko pa pwedeng mapa-deploy lahat ng heroes ko. So, I can only deploy some. My power with this one, uh, these three combined, would be 55k. So, pwede ko siyang suburin. Kanyang mag i niya guys. Pasensyaan nyo na guys ha, medyo parang tinatamad ba gano'n? <laughs> Magbigay sa inyo ng insights for this one. Kasi yung second recording ko na to actually. No, uh, Nag-record ako kanina, kaya nga lang sobrang pixelated. Inulit ko. <laughs> And if you would see, there are also some alliances thing here. So, it's like one of those games. And truth be told guys, hindi ko alam kung ano um, kung I will uh, proceed on playing this game in the future uh, reasons would be first since uh, it is a ano, um, time based game and resource based there are some instances where in pagka naubo, di ko to pinansin siguro ng kahit nga ano, less than a day lang eh. Uh, maubusan ako ng survivors kasi aalis sila sa base. Second, uh, since this is a time-based game, uh, there are some instances wherein kapag matataas na level ng mga ina-upgrade ko, I need to take some time para lang, wala, check-check lang kung okay na ba yung upgrades. Which is, yun, um, I played some of those games before. And uh, don't get me wrong, it's actually enjoyable. Um, siguro on my opinion lang. I want something na, na I can play on real time. And lastly, um, though hindi na to fault ng, ano, ng phone ko. The second time I recorded, uh, the first time I recorded this, it was around uh, 2 o'clock p.m. And as of now, it's 2.45. Yeah, as of this recording. <laughs> Kung may kita nyo, <clears throat> from 94% or 93%, nasa 76% na lang siya. <clears throat> Ayun, uh, di na to fault ng game. Uh, if the game is needing of so much graphics na alam mo yan, may gumagalaw sa screen mo, each and every time, tulad na to, kahit di mo sila pinipindot, 
it's uh, totally fine. But for my phone, na uh, my phone is almost three years old na sa akin. Ayan, medyo nasa ano na rin siya. Uh, ano ba tawag dito? Estima- uh, palagpasa siya ng estimated useful life <laughs> ng phone ko. Ayan, I am not sure if I can continue this game. But, you know, um, overall review for this one, um, Last Shelter or Last Fortress Underground is an interesting game. By the way, not sponsored. <laughs> Ayan. If you're the type of person who is uh, interested in uh, base building, zombie type game, this game is for you. So that's it. Uh, this is me, your boy, Rafael Zeke. Nagsasabi lagi na keep safe out there. And guys, maraming maraming salamat for uh, tuning in dito sa ating channel. And maraming salamat for hitting like and hitting subscribe button. And being salam to me. Keep safe out there. And guys, kita-kit sa next video. Paalam!